research focuses on trying to generate the best quality evidence for what we do in surgery and to try to implement it. There is data that shows that it takes 17 years for 14% of research to make it into routine practice. So a lot of my research focuses on how do we get providers to adopt high quality evidence into practice. I run a center, the Center for Surgical Trials and Evidence-Based Practice, and part of the mission of the center is to train the future generation of surgeon scientists. We actually train residents who are trainees in surgery to do high quality clinical research. They get a master's degree in clinical research and we teach them all kinds of methodology like how to run and design a randomized trial, whether a patient gets treatment A or treatment B. Research is not carried out by the surgeon, looking at outcomes that the surgeon cares about and then having patients do surveys on things that only surgeons care about. It's patients tell you what they are interested in knowing. They help you decide the question. I think it's important for us to figure out how we can better engage patients in decision making and being part of how outcomes can be improved and what outcomes are important to them. Money would go towards funding patient-centered outcomes and what that means is trying to do research to understand what outcomes are important to patients and how we as surgeons can improve them. I think that's very challenging in emergency surgery where the stakes are very high in terms of complications and potentially dying. One of the things we really strive to do at UT Health is develop something called a learning health system where research influences practice. I became a doctor in order to improve patient outcomes. And I think that the only way you can do it is to align your practice with research and high quality evidence.